Hello. In these strange, strange days, I've been thinking an awful lot, like we all have. We're all sort of gone into ourselves trying to find ways to manage this and to manage our feelings and our fear and our anxiety about the future. And <clears throat> there are lots of good things. So I was thinking, and I might try and I will try and do this regularly, that I could talk to you about three good things and one hard thing. Um, and the hard thing is something that we will all try and accept. Like for me, the hard thing really is that my mother is on her own and I can't get within six feet of her. Like I can't hug her or, you know, and I feel for her without any affection. Um, I think that must be so hard for an awful lot of people, like for people who are on, who are self-isolating or who live alone. Um, it's such an important part of life to feel the touch of another person on you. Um, and it's very weird to be without it. So that's the thing that today I'm trying to accept, you know, that it's, it's there, it's unpleasant, it's hard for her, and I can't do anything about it. So I have to try and change my feelings about it because it's, it's keeping her safe, it's keeping her well. Um, and now we'll move on to the three good things. Now, good thing number one will probably come as no surprise. And good thing number one is books. Hold on. Starting with Our Little Cruelties by Liz Nugent. This is her new novel. It's out, I think, about a week. And it's her fourth novel. And it is very much, in my opinion, her best novel to date. It's about three brothers. And oh my God, like the dysfunction, like the, the competition between the three of them. And at the very beginning of the book, two of the brothers are at a funeral of one of the other brothers. And you don't find out who that other brother is until the end of the book. And the book is told in kind of episodic bits and the timeline jumps all over the place like it, it's not chronological and it forms this like incredible mosaic of a family and if you've read any of Liz's other books you'll know that like she doesn't pull her punches like she's really not afraid of looking at how terrible human beings can be and I don't know there's such a kind of relief in that really um, at times just to kind of to know how awful we all are. Um, it's really gripping, it's really entertaining, and I enjoyed it a huge amount. Now, something something slightly different. This is by Kaz Freer, and this is the proof of her new book, and this one is called Shed No Tears. And this isn't out yet, and it won't be out for a while, but if you feel like being good to yourself and you have the money to do it, go and read her first two novels because this is part of a series. Is. This is about a detective called Kat Kinsella who is working in as a policewoman in London. And I was thinking about what makes crime novels good. And people always talk about the plot and twists and, and unexpected stuff and all. But if that isn't grounded in fantastic characterization, the reader isn't going to stay. Well, I mean, I judge myself as a reader. I won't stay if I don't like the people, if I don't believe in them, if I'm confused by too many of them, if, you know, you're thrown into a situation and there's eight police people. If they don't have distinct personalities, I'm just going to get overwhelmed and leave. And Kaz Freer does the characterization so fabulously. Um, and she can just, like, in a paragraph, like, she can create an entire person. Um, She's incredibly gifted and I am getting so much pleasure and escape from this one as I did with her other two books. And forgive me because my head is rose. I can't remember the names of the other two. If you hold on, I'll take a look now and see. Eh, 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 eh. Sometimes they say, yet. No, not here. Not, not here. Um, uh, Sweet Little Lies. That was the first one. And then... The second one, I don't know the name, but I would really recommend them. They are, they are really, really enjoyable. Now, my telephone is ringing. We will ignore it because um, who will it be? Right, so lovely books is the first thing. The second thing is, if we're all doing things right and um, we're washing our ha hands frequently, then our skin should be like paper and red raw and like, you know, like as dry as the goby. And 
that was me anyway because like I spend so much money and time on my face and I'm always moisturizing and putting on um PMT I was going to call it SPF um and uh and I do nothing for my hands and my hands look like they're about 2017 years old and they have liver spots and everything anyway a bit late in the day I am using hand cream now this isn't actually hand cream it is ultra rich body cream and it's from L'Occitane and I'm going to open and show it to you look it, it doesn't fall out that's how how fabulously solid it is it is so lovely it doesn't have a perfume or if it does it has a hand creamy perfume like it doesn't you know it isn't like flowers or mad stuff like that and it is just so rich and so delicious and you know that thing that I was saying about people living on their own not having affection I give Mammy Keys um, a small one of these because touching your own hands is a form of affection do you know what I mean and like it's so funny a I hate washing myself and b I would only put on body cream if you put a gun to my head and and I have been doing it in this time because it's like the normal ways that I keep myself happy and functional so many of them aren't available to me um so I've retreated inwards and you know found other things if that makes any sense including doing my makeup every day I'll, I'll save that for another one of these three good things films um and then the other thing the third good thing was um as you can see i am what's the word gussily dressed up i am i am making an effort today and it's just that i have these lovely things these lovely clothes and accessories and why would i be wearing them when i am you know trying to write and staring at the four walls and scrolling incessantly looking at more terrible bits of news so i put on my frida kahlo sweatshirt that i got a couple of years ago in anthropology which i haven't worn as much as i should so i'm wearing it today because do you know something and forgive me and i never thought i would really hear myself say these words it sparks joy uh -huh. as do my shoes they are uh, gaudy Mammy Keys would call them gaudy, but um, I think they're beautiful. Yes, gaudy, there's nothing wrong with gaudy. And yes, I'm wearing them around the house in place of my slippers because they're spark and joy. You know, I look at my foot and I think, Jesus, there's a lovely shoe. And I get a little, little burst of dopamine. Then this thing, this won't be for everyone, but I love this. It's a purse that you wear on your neck like a young person you see and it's a hello kitty one and it's pink which i love and um it's got a change purse here i don't have any change in it i've nothing in it actually at the moment and then it's got a place for to put your notes if you have notes and cards if you have cards and then and then you put it around your neck and then you can go raving if well actually you can't at the moment um but when all of this is over i will be off in a field with my with my neck wallet and um do you remember when i went to france uh, when i went to paris on the eurostar i bought it then and i looked at it and i thought i don't really have any room in my life for this but i thought hold on though it's sparking joy so i thought i reflect it i'll buy it and i'm so glad i did because it's making me happy so there we are so that's my three good things today and i will try and do it regular and um so i'll go to do three good things and one hard thing um that i have to practice my acceptance on which is excellent for emotional and spiritual growth and um, it's pain in the hole i really hate having to do emotional and spiritual growth but ultimately it'll stand to me mind yourselves go easy you know i have been off twitter for a few days because people are so angry because people are scared and short-tempered and i keep waking up with them um, grainy things in my mouth because I've been grinding my teeth in my sleep and I am very very narky um, because we're all terrified and we don't know what's happening and what's going to happen so go easy on yourself but at the same time try not to shout at other people if it's not their fault and I suppose I am speaking to myself whenever I say something to you I'm really talking to myself so don't mind me um, I'm not being preachy I am simply articulating my own stuff so go easy take care stick your head out the window get fresh air in any way you can eat properly try and have a routine do yoga on the internet if you can everybody swears about it i might start myself one of these fine days
Bye.